Coronation Street star Shane Ward defends under fire boss Kate Oates after she faced a barrage of criticism over storylines. The outgoing actor has praised the series producer for not not playing safe by doing gritty plots like David Platt's recent male rape drama and his sister Beth's infamous grooming ordeal. Coronation Street star Shane Ward has come to the defense of under fire show boss Kate Oates after she faced a barrage of criticism over storylines. He has praised the series producer for not playing safe by doing gritty plots like David Platt's recent male rape drama and his sister Beth's infamous grooming ordeal. The storylines have sparked hundreds of complaints from shocked viewers as well as criticism aimed at Kate. Speaking at last night's National Film Awards, outgoing Shane, 33, told the Sunnest Bizarre column, you're going to get that as a producer to a show who is going to be coming in and showing she's willing to do some gritty storylines. And I think she's doing it brilliantly. The positives outweigh the negatives, because the response to the latest rape storyline with David Platt has been incredible. She's doing a great thing for the soap. These particular things need to be challenged and you can't play safe all the time and she hasn't played safe. I think she's done great. Kari has also come under fire for Pat Felon's multiple murders and Michelle Kiner's stalking ordeal. More recently Watchdog Ofcom received 122 complaints over the David Platt storyline. The regulator cleared Kari despite a whopping 541 people making formal grievances. Kate went on this morning to defend her position in the storyline on David, which saw him drugged and taken home by pal Josh Tucker. She said, When we worked with Survivors Manchester, who have been helping us with this storyline Duncan Craig, when he took us on, said he would help us but only if we played it properly and only if we didn't t-shy away from it. He said it was really important when the storyline went out that viewers sitting at home who had been affected by sexual assault could say that as me. That's my story and now I am ready 